Yeah, baby! Yeah! Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong. Welcome to the back office. Let's all agree one thing before we start, and that is that Guardians of the Galaxy is the best movie ever made in recent years, and Groot is actually one of the best characters uh, you may well have seen. And this is a Guardians of the Galaxy Groot in pristine showroom condition. Look, I haven't even removed the label. I've instead learnt how it functions purely through trial and error, mainly error. So you've got here your baby Groot plant. He's very squidgy. It's pretty tactile, I have to say. I can feel up to his midriff is a hard thing. Oh, no, it goes a bit further. It's kind of squidgy, um, but you can bend it. You can kind of hear a motor if you just crank him around a little bit. Button on the top, little hole. And you go, what's the little hole for? Groot, I am Groot. Um, the little hole, of course, apparently is a speaker. Oh, sorry, a speaker. I'm talking rubbish. Is a microphone. The speaker's at the back. And the reason it's got a microphone is that he will dance to whatever music you play. However, you do have to suffer something. There's demo mode, off mode and on. And on and demo do initially the first thing the same. And I'm going to show you what that is. And I might not show you too much of it because I might get slapped with a copyright violation. So let's put it on and then you push the button. <laughs> Here you go. Uh, now I'm going to keep my hand jammed straight over the microphone because I don't want to hear any more of that. And it's it's actually pretty horrible, but you can hear it, see him grooving. He's grooving with the tunes there. And that's what Gro Group does. He basically grooves the Michael Jackson track that's built in, or what are they called? Jackson 5. Um, that's It's really irritating. You can hear <laughs> It's really loud, really irritating, and you just sort of want it to stop. Go, please, please make it stop. Ah, oh, phew. Right, it has stopped. So you'll notice as I talk, though, Groot is doing something. He's grooving. He's grooving to the sound of the audio he can detect, and he can detect it generally, I think, through that hole. So you can see it's somewhat attenuated now. I've got my finger over it. Groot! Groot! And, and that's it. It just cranks it round. The motor cranks him around. It sounds kind of laboured, doesn't it? Laboured and painful. So I think the only thing we can do to this special uh, collector's edition Groot is to open it up and have a look inside. So we're going to uh, take the battery off. Wow, look at that. That big old screw with this teeny weeny screwdriver, I managed to torque the hell out of that. Three batteries in it. What make are they? They look, they're called Maxell. Oh, Maxell, that's a real kind of make, but I'm just sort of Super Pouvoir RS. Super Pouvoir? Am I, am I reading this right? Super Pouvoir? Strange might be a foreign battery, but we won't hold that against them because batteries are batteries. Batteries are your friends. So looking at the bottom, looks like two deep set screws, annoyingly deep actually, Ugh. but not annoyingly tight. At least this first one isn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a lot of talk again on a tiny baby screwdriver. I might have to upgrade to something with a thicker shaft. That's what she said. And uh, no, that one. No, I did it. I did it. I used my Guardians of the Galaxy Star Lord type powers. Uh, to crank that in. And yeah, I'm well pleased with that. I am well pleased. So I think like most people, Guardians of the Galaxy, where did they come from, right? It's like nobody had ever heard of them. So in the bottom, you've got your on-off switch and battery bay. Crikey, look at this. There's a lot going on in here. But it's pretty much as expected. You've got your motor drive. There's your motor. 
connected to this PCB, which seems to just have a diode in it. It's weird. It's just like a wire breakout board. I'm going to have a look at that in a bit more detail in a moment. You've got your main board underneath. In fact, they seem to have gone through the effort of putting a real connector on this, which may be removal. I'm going to say, though, it probably isn't, so let's leave it alone. If I untwist this, though, it'll give me a bit more wire to play with. Indeed it does. Here we go. Thank you, Groot. Speaker at the back with a nice seal on it. Wrinkly, crinkly shaft. Microphone. So you've got your microphone, your motor, your speaker at the back, and your board here, which has the CPU on it. Bunch of diodes. Yeah, it's got sort of the diodes and stuff because it's probably, if it's dealing with a bit of current with the motor, it probably has to have a little bit of circuitry to deal with that. I'm going to try to delve a bit deeper because I think we all want to have a look inside Groot. We want to look at his, yeah, a bit of a little disaster there. That's why there's a jump cut because what happened was my uh, whole recording rig just turned itself off unexpectedly and... When I checked it, it appears that it had lost what would be the sort of last, probably about five minutes of tearing down Mr. Groot here. And uh, so I'm going to redo it for you right now. So this is more or less where we left off. So <laughs> the irony being, I said some very amazingly funny things, probably the funniest sort of things and wittiest things you'll have ever likely heard on the whole of YouTube. But you've missed them now because of hardware fault. So I'm just going to have to just crack on now in a rather perfunctionary sort of way of someone who's torn down a Groot before and who really doesn't feel like making the same jokes. You'll jokes and innuendo mainly about what you're about to see so what I'm gonna have to let you do is use your imagination when you see this and uh, try to imagine what I would have said Urgh, come on come on get this out last screw last screw come on Groot that noise in the background by the way is the sound of my PC rebuilding the data from an SD card um, SD card that's hold all my most precious video and memories and I don't want to lose them. So uh, that's that sort of rumbling in the background. So are you ready for this? I've already witnessed it so I'm not going to sort of roar out in laughter like I did first time round but uh, ready to see what's inside of a Groot. Yep. Yes, a Groot Skellington. Ah! I am Groot. <laughs> ah. So yes, Inside a Groot is a white skeleton of uh, greasy, by the way. It's very greasy. It's it's lubed up before it goes into a Groot, and it shoves in the very end of a Groot into a sort of blob of sort of foam that they've shoved in him. And uh, yeah, to give you a smooth Groot head for your pleasure. And pop in some batteries, and then you can see the sort of dancing Groot. Ready? Oh no! He's not working. Groot is not. Ah, yeah. Ah, it's the full loudness. The full loudness in my ear. Right, that was, yeah, full loudness. It just spins around and around. It doesn't really do any going one way or then going the other. It just, it goes around like a sort of a crazy sort of toy that you might find in a sort of 50 shades of grey book. And indeed, if you're that way inclined, the Groot with his lubed up Skellington may well serve your purpose. Um, apart from that, there's not really that much to see, really. You just grind him around by, by his motor. So while I'm reassembling it, I, I started talking about really what, what you could do with a Groot if you've got this and you decided you're bored with it because frankly you're going to get bored pretty quickly after you've seen it jiggle around a bit and you're certainly going to get bored of that tune that's you're going to hit that on the head what could you do well you could use it as a sort of very crude animatronic <laughs> let's put it that way there are millions of boards and dev kits out there for controlling things through gpio you could probably just even just use a raspberry pi or arduino or something if you've got one of those or one of your own custom type PCBs which is 
my preference. I, I like to use my own booby boards, which are my own Arduino-y type thing. And uh, you can connect that up to your PC USB, but I don't really know what you're going to want to do with it because you can only really just crank him around in a circle. So it would be a good opportunity, and I'd really consider this strongly, in making an H bridge so that you could sort of drive him backwards and the forwards, forwards and the backwards. Easier is a geezer, never muscle in. And that way, you could sort of maybe try to get a few more effects. Maybe you could pop some LEDs in so he's dancing to some disco. Or just additional motors. I mean, look at, you've seen the skeleton. It's not really much in there. I wonder if you could just jam something up the armholes, like some servos. You can know, get a servo in here and get these uh, grooving. God, look at his shoulders. He's got big veiny, veiny shoulders. So yeah, it's, it's surprisingly well made. I'm going to give it that. In terms of its, although its functionality is pretty, pretty boring and not that exciting, really, it's just sort of doing that little dance. They they spent a lot of effort making it do it in a very robust manner, and I guess that's because it's to sort of be targeted at sort of kids who'll just want one and just sort of slam it around and destroy it basically. Yeah, pretty good all in all. I don't really know what I'm going to do with it. I'll probably just leave it on so it doesn't play the sort of Michael Jackson Jackson 5 tune and then just let it jiggle around occasionally in the background of one of my videos if I ever get round to building my studio which I keep threatening to do it could make a nice bit of wall art but I'd probably get rid of the batteries and just have it permanently plugged in so that'll solve my issue of it running out of power and you can just then you won't have to go through the power cycling on it and hear that music over and over again. But we'll suffer it one more time because this is not just a teardown but a rebuild and he is rebuilt. We have rebuilt him, we haven't improved him. Turn him on. Right Groot, say goodbye to the people at home. Yeah baby, yeah! Enough of that. So if you've got your Groot, tell me what you felt about it. Were you pleased with your purchase or were you disappointed? Does he, uh, do you use your Groot for anything interesting? Perhaps you uh, modify him so you can give it a little bit more of a more... Whoa, hey, I think, oh yeah. Sorry, I was distracted myself through this motion. Look at that. That's some smooth shit, yeah. I am Groot, yeah baby, yeah! Please like and click subscribe if you're that way inclined. And as ever, thank you for watching.